We got the media team in there. Where the media Where the media team? We got content. TV's in the go. We got TV in the go. Wack. You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe to the home and your clubhouse TV. Let's get to the content. That's a good one. Yo, check it out. We got Wack 100 reacting to Kevin Hart's wife saying she caught him and Diddy in an orgy. So let's get straight to the content. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Run the content. Spin the block. And Yo, is there TV. something wrong with Kevin Hart being caught in an orgy with, in, with Diddy? Bro. Yeah, I seen it. What? Yeah. He said Kevin A lot of y'all say that y'all ran trains on with your homies. Me personally, I'm not in the sport fights. Yeah, I lot never of did that shit. Be saying that, yo, everybody didn't did. I heard niggas say everybody didn't did, right? So, an orgy is like multiple people, right? Men and women. Yeah. Right? So, is like, I, what is she exposing? Is she exposing that he cheated on her? Or is she, what is she exposing? So, Kevin's Somebody wife exposed that? Kevin's, uh, it might be his ex-wife that she walked in. It's up top. What is that exposing, though? Like, what is that? He said, it said Kevin Hart's wife. Still, she called Kevin the orgy with Diddy. She's exposing that Kevin Hart cheated on her with Diddy. Oh, that's so, Diddy, oh, hell. Have a I'm just saying, listen. She... They're using this word freak off, and they got a lot in back being hypocrites. That's what I was saying earlier. Huh? I believe you could be freaky with your mate, but anything involving a third party, whether two two men and a female or two females and a man, you into the realm of freaking. Am, am I right or wrong? Nah, for sure. But is that his wife saying it or his ex-wife saying it? That's crazy. He talked all that shit. I don't know. He talked what? Saying all that shit about P. Diddy that he would never be caught in no situation with P. Diddy that uh, he didn't condone other parties and all kind of shit. Man, all these he was people, in an interview and hey, interview. all these people and saying this was no, at I'm this saying, man parties, man. Who was that talking? Kimmy, Kimmy, you damn sure been in the freak off. <laughs> no, I was not. <laughs> So you telling me you ain't up another female with a nigga? Yeah. That's a free call. Um, you, know, you ever had a, a, a two niggas? No. Oh, you, huh? Nah. But you had another woman involved? Yes. Okay, so what do you call that? A threesome. Okay, so is that normal? Is that considered normal sex? Uh, no, I wouldn't do it with my man. Huh? I wouldn't Wait, do it. Wait, what? I was, wow. I was younger then. You wouldn't was do younger. it with your so man, you gotta, but you would you give gotta it gotta to a stranger? To a stranger? No, listen, I was younger then, and the person I did it with, we was together, but I kind of broke up with him after that, because that means that's just what he wants, that's what he like, and I'm not going to continuously do it. I just kind of, like, tried it out with him. So if it's not the man, I mean, it's fine. Or you got jealous of how he was handling the woman? No, not necessarily. I just, I ain't really with it. I ain't really into it like that, but I didn't have a problem with it. But you can do it with just somebody that's not your man. Somebody you no, I wouldn't know. do it again because I ain't really into it. But I don't think nothing wrong with it. No, because it's like I'm really trying to. I'm really trying to. Are they saying he's like the, the maestro of the freak offs? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he had just various rooms and people was. I think it's levels to it. I think it's like a sex house. Hey, Ark, you know what I don't get? They are it's down. They, they down Diddy, but they wasn't talking about Hugh Hefner. I, I don't get that nah, shit, they, man. No, no, I've been saying that. You get that what I'm was saying? open, though. Hugh Hefner was doing things openly, though. Man, he was doing the same shit he doing. Yeah, so was but Diddy. What? It was all open, right? Diddy wasn't doing nothing openly. Diddy what? shit was yeah, like Yeah, I was going to say, wasn't he? Nah, no, man. Open. No, he like, Diddy, Diddy, Diddy is doing Diddy. the same shit Hugh Hefner. Hefner was doing, he's inviting people to the parties. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. 
Bro, I'm saying, why is everybody mad at this man doing his sexual life, man? Why y'all mad at this man when he doing his sex life, man? Mind your own business, man. Man, that's the sex life is on public. So in order for it to be okay, you gotta tell people what you're doing. A woman going and doing like escorting or something and no one knows that this is her secret life versus a woman who's very open with it. Like Coco was open the fact that she was a what she was. I see wife. Coco came from that type of lifestyle. You had other girls that were more discreet with their lifestyle and wasn't as open. So when people found out about things that they did, all of a sudden it was like, ah, oh, rah, ooh. And then white people always were known for being sexually liberated like that anyways. You didn't see a lot of black people doing black freak people and being doing, open with it. Black people, well, we, black people been in the porn industry for a long time. But they weren't as open, like I'm just saying, a Hugh Hefner. Who is another Hugh Hefner as a black man? Well, I mean, that's what he chose to do. Like, his brand, the Playboy, you know, Bunny and the Playboy Mansion. But I'm saying, like, I'm just trying to figure out if it don't involve children and it ain't right. Because talk about these BDSM parties and all this other, all this other shit with What's, the, What's difference? the difference? Uh, that's what I was, was saying earlier. Everybody mad at this man and his sex life, man. Shit is crazy. No, for real. Is that different? But wasn't he drugging them people and they, some of them nah, didn't know nah, what was, was going on? Where is the facts at? Law, when it comes to the law, he was passing out drugs. But, you know, when you pass them out, I never accepted them. Shit, you know, they right there. Ray J said asses were being taken at an alarming rate. He didn't say that for nothing. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't say that. Diddy was doing that either. Uh, he baby, never said that. Baby he never That's ever like mentioned Brian. Diddy's name when ass is being taken. You're a great friend, bro. He never did, bro. I'm just keeping it real. I mean, if you want to talk like that, we can go back to the Breakfast Club where he said he got some older homies. That That's what they do. But what about the bribing? We well, you know what he meant. Telling them what? that in order for them to get into the industry, this is what they had to do. Like, yeah, but but who? But I'm saying, who said that though? Who, which one? And the did victims. Get, who? Which one? And did they get in the industry? We don't know. So they let us know who yeah, everybody who, is. Who said that? I mean, I, I will tell you this: that's been going on since the beginning of time. You want to be an actor? You want to star on road? That been going on. Like, so I wouldn't, you know. Didn't people know the times as well? Like, certain people will stay at a certain time. I mean, that, 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 but I, I want to know because let's talk about it. How many females did Diddy actually put on? A whole lot. I can't a lot count. of groups I and everything, count. yeah. Well, I ain't put on that many females, bro. Who? Mary Jane. Well, no. Who, 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 who is the difference between well, putting on and facilitating? Put on. No, put, put, facilitating is just business. Putting oh, on okay. Different. I got what you're saying. All right. So I you got, say, you got you. Oh, then in that case. I yeah. give you faith. We gotta give him. Every, we gotta give him all the all the women that he signed the bad boy. We gotta give him that. All the women that he who? signed in the beginning. Who? Total, faith, um, like all the, all of his groups. So you see Total saying something happened? Nah. I see that Don, I see the um the Don Richards. Yeah, but that's because he got rid of the, he got the, ain't she the ones he got rid of out the group? He put about gas, that, you know? Daddy Kane in there? <laughs> he never, yeah, he, didn't he get rid of Don, ain't she the one he got rid of? I mean, I ain't gonna say she, no, she, he didn't get rid of her, she was, she was in Dirty Money. So it she, was, she it was it one of them he got rid of. No, she made it past the band, so she was actually that because she was like one of the dope writers. I think that was the Daddy the Kane chicks. That was the Daddy Kane little few. I know one of them. He yeah, got that rid was of. one of them white chicks. Yeah, she he she got he got rid of her the white then the white chick from Daddy the Kane. But but he kept the one that he kept. She came out too, Don Richards. And, and what she say? She's the one that I don't remember what she said, bro. Because I remember him talk. She talking about he talked crazy to her. 
all I remember was she said that I remember I remember her putting the other girl in in the in it and she didn't want to be in it. She was mad about that. I remember that. She put the other girl that was in the group in the lawsuit and she was Kalima. pissed about that. But I forgot what it was. I forgot you what know, it was. You said. know Kalima Wack, um, Tony Vick's wife. Who? Tony Vick. Okay, they but used I'm... to help write for Bad Boy or something like that. Yeah, but she, what I'm she saying, got a crazy pin. What I'm saying is like. Give me the female that said that Puffy said I had to for me to get to where I'm at. Oh, you talking oh, about no, the one, no. you talk about the ones that he put on? Yeah, ain't none of them came out and said yeah, nothing. That's what I'm like, bro. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to hear about no female he met and crossing and passing because, I mean, let's keep it real. Women see what they see, they know what they know. He see what he see, he see something he like. Like, it's already really understanding. I don't know why women want to act like, oh, I don't know who this nigga is or that nigga is, and that's your interest. That ain't part of your interest. Yeah, he might be good looking. He may, but a whole lot of your interest is who a nigga is, status quo, this, this, that, and other. And all of a sudden, after you get, he get through, he don't want to have nothing to do with you. It's a problem. Now he forced, not like this shit is crazy. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I ain't taking that shit. I ain't taking that. I mean, but what I'm saying, even his ex-wife, so if you walked in all day, right? If you walked in, That's a fact. And look, even if you did walk in on an orgy, she not said he was, with, you know, it was, they just said they was in the same situation. You walked in on an orgy and you didn't join in, but you just so happened to be there to walk in. You happen to be there to walk in. I, I, for one, security ain't gonna let you in there if you ain't already already involved. Let's just be real. Hey, what you think about the um, what you think about the NDA? What right? the lifetime plus twenty years after he died? Um, I mean that's. I added to the NDA, but that's the basic standard NDA. Those are his terms, and they signed it. Yeah, that's the basic standard. Yeah, I'm the videos and and and. But like everybody that. write their own terms in these NDA. That's why you gotta yeah, read exactly. them before you right. sign it. And if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna sign it, take your ass home. It's simple. <laughs> it's simple. Everybody ground around this month. You don't wanna sign it. You don't agree with the rules that they're saying. Take your ass home. What the, the big deal? Clubhouse. Clubhouse. TV. TV. So, appreciate y'all checking out Clubhouse TV. Y'all heard the content, man. We got WAC 100 reacting to Kevin Hart's wife saying she caught him and did he in an orgy. Now, my opinion, definitely don't want to be in a situation with another male. I don't care. That's not me at all. Um, it would have to at least be two females. But I can see how she would be upset or what have you regarding the issue that she caught her man in an inappropriate way with Diddy. First of all, he was having inappropriate relationships and he's married. So unless she gave him permission to go out and have fun or a hall pass or something like that, then she already going to be upset because he was caught having an inappropriate relationship with the female, let alone he was with Diddy and they were having a threesome. So definitely understand why she would want to file a divorce. Um, there's probably a, a lot of other things that she knows about or has heard about or has seen. Um, so, yeah, um, recently heard that they were getting divorced as well. Um, so, yeah, Wack is saying that a lot of people do the same things. He's saying he's not with it, but he sees where a lot of people do the same thing. And would you consider that homosexual? So, because you're in a relationship with another man, even though you're a female is there. So, I don't know, man. Just not my cup of tea. But uh, let me know what you think about this content in the comments.
Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you stay up to date when I drop fresh new content. And subscribe to the media team so you can get that exclusive WAC 100 content. As always, certainly appreciate y'all checking out Clubhouse TV. I'll see y'all in the next drop. I'm out. Peace.